Welcome back to some more Florida State Dynasty. We're going to get right into recruiting. I'm so excited for this because you guys have submitted your players. That deadline is now over. We have five awesome athletes and some awesome players. Don Young, a five-star running back. And we're going to lead on him to start off. That is what we love to see. We're going to offer him not only a scholarship, but we're going to put a good amount of points into him as well. Next up is David, a Juco player from North Carolina. Five-star running back as well. We're not in the lead on him, but I think we should be able to get him. Otherwise, Don Young is a good option as well, obviously. Next up, I don't even know how to say his name, but he's a three-star from St. Pete, Florida. We're number two on him. Offer him a scholarship. He is a kicker, 84 overall. He looks really good. We need kickers and we need punters. And we have a good amount of those. And they're pretty good in the class. So that looks awesome for us. Five-star quarterback, Barrett Robertson. He looks really good and we already have the lead on him. And then David, we're number four on him. Still have a shot and we're going to offer him a scholarship. He looks really good as well. We have the lead on Lee Carroll. He's a five-star tight end. One of the best tight ends we've ever seen for recruiting. So that's amazing. We also have the best player in college football history. 98 overall, TJ Young from Fort Myers, Florida. He's very interested in Ohio State, Alabama, North Carolina. It's going to be so hard to get him. But, hey, it, it could be a possibility. Golden Peterson. He looks pretty good. We're not even close on him. We're going to try and get him later into the season. And we're in ranked number three. That is incredible to start the year. We're going to go ahead and look at the points. It looks like some points dip down. We'll take a look at the recruiting. So, Don Young wanting to go to Florida at the moment. We're a little bit behind on him. TJ Young. We're number 10 for that is actually really good. Lee, we're number two on. That's awesome to see. David wanting to go to LSU, but we're number two on him. Barrett, we're number one on. David, we're number three. We're number one on this kicker that you guys made. So we're in the lead on a lot of guys. And to get some of these guys, let's go out and get a W in week one. And we are ready for the new season. Tate Roadmaker starting in this we got Logan on the field, and that's about it. Those are like the biggest changes, I guess you could say. And Logan is going to get the ball to start the game. He's down the sideline. Shoots one tackle, and he's down the field. Logan starting things off for FSU with a huge pickup. So we'll have to take a look. We're going to throw over to the left side for Logan. He's got a touchdown. Two plays. Logan is a go. I have a feeling Logan and Brian Bridges are going to be disgusting this year. Within 31 seconds, we're going to take a 7 to nothing lead. Just barely. And yeah, good way to start the new year. All right, defense, what do you say? Let's start this new season off really good. Here's a snap. Give me a handoff and right away a loss of four. Good start. Second and 14. Give me another handoff. And they're going to fumble the ball. We're going to recover. And Mississippi State is in a lot of trouble early in this one. Oh, so they're going to review this. Was it a fumble? The ruling on the field is reversed. Ah, man. All right. Well, regardless, it's going to be third and 18 for Mississippi State. And they're going to hand it off. Giving up on this drive. Our defense destroyed them. Now let's go on offense and do the same. First down. Look at a pass. Brent Bridges is open. And he's got the first down. Good start. Here we go. Third down. Haven't been able to move the ball since... I don't know when. We're under pressure. Tate is going to shed one sack. And he's going to get sacked. Loss of 15. I just had nothing I could do there. Third and 14. Here's a snap. Look at a pass. Under pressure, and he's going to be sacked. A fumble. They'll recover. And that's the end of the first quarter. Fourth and 35. This is already a crazy game to start the new year. Not going to lie. A really good punt by Mississippi State. I don't like that. That's not good at all. Here we go. Looking to do something on this drive. Look at a pass. Looking for Logan. Oh, Logan is going to go across here. 
See what he can do on play action. Look at a pass under pressure. Just going to throw into the turf. Look at a pass under pressure right away. Almost intercepted. Mississippi State has a chance to tie it. They're going to run the ball and they're going to lose a few. Third down and 17. Look at a pass. Over to the right side. A great catch for 16, but they will not convert. Yeah, it's really difficult. I know I dropped back too much. I'm trying to figure out how to avoid that, but our blocks just suck. Offensive line. Look at a pass. That was under pressure right away. McLean holds on first down. Here we go. One minute before the half. Looking to pass. Over to the left, Logan. Oh, I think that was underthrown. Second and three. Passing to the right side. It's intercepted by Tate. And this is going to go the other way for a pick six. Damari Tate. Uh, I think a newer cornerback. That is absolutely big. That takes a, a lot of momentum that we needed. Third down and nine. Look at a pass under pressure and he's going to be brought down. A loss of nine. This defense is not giving him any time to run. Third and six. Looking for Logan here maybe. Play action. Look at a pass. Looking for Logan. Please make the catch and he will. Who's going to get open? Um, uh, no one. All right. We will be held to a field goal try. It's going to be a 39 yarder. Can we make this? Kick is up. Ooh, just wide right. But they don't have good field positioning. It's so frustrating. Not coming away with points when you're in the red zone like that. But we just got to keep on playing good. And hold them off on defense. We are starting the fourth quarter. Third and 14 from Mississippi State. And we're in command here. Gonna be play action. Look at a pass over the middle and they got the first down. Whatever happens here, if they don't convert, they're obviously gonna go for it. They're down by two touchdowns. You gotta go for it in this situation. Third and two. Look at a pass. Oh, QB will take himself. He's got the first down and more. He's down the field and he is in the red zone after 24 yards. Now first and 15, look at a pass quickly under pressure. And he's going to be stopped right away. Loss of one. This is for the game. If they don't get first down here, it's game over. Come on defense. Look at a pass under pressure. Throwing for the end zone. It's into the turf. We're going to try and get at least a field goal on this drive. Just really put things out of reach. Give me a run up the middle. Corey Wren will get a few there. Second down and seven. Probably looking for Bridges here. What can Bridges do? No, it's into coverage. They're going to intercept it around the 30. Oh, man. I'm giving up so many interceptions. No huddle for Mississippi State. Looking to pass his Robertson. Under pressure. Throwing to the right. Evans is pushed down, but we will make a stop still. Can our defense hold him off again? Looking for the end zone. Oh, just stopped them, but it's going to be first and goal. Minute and a half. Pitch to the left. Wide open. Touchdown. We shut them out until a minute 20 left. That will give us insanely good field positioning. And that should do it. Just like that. Because none of our guys could recover it. It actually goes our way. And Lawrence will get nothing there. Their defense really has stepped up, and it, it's another 39-yarder. We're going to go over to the left a little bit more. Is it going to curve in? It does! Just barely in there, and it's going to be 17-7. Week 1 goes to Florida State. Not the most exciting, crazy game in the world, but I will take it. Taking a look at stats, 5 for 20, 153, 1 touchdown, 3 interceptions, 3 sacks. Got work on it. Could not run the ball. I mean, Corey ran two for 19, but that was about it. Receiving, Logan was pretty good. Three for 109, one touchdown, no drops for anyone in this one. McLean was good. Bridges was okay. But, hey, Logan in his first game for us, I'm happy to see what he did. As far as defense goes, good kind of amount of tackles for loss. I mean, that was all over the place. Good amount of sacks. One interception being from Tate, a senior. So I guess he's not new, but overall, a really good game. That was a huge game, but next week we are facing 2-0 LSU in our home opener. 
taking a look at recruiting let's see how we're doing and see how close we are on some of these guys tj young we're number nine four we dropped so low there facing lsu we're fighting for david and lsu is number one for him don't know how you pronounce the kicker's name but we are in the lead on him barrett we're in the lead on david we're number three four don young we're still fighting with florida for him and we're almost ready to visit for him a couple other guys are somewhat close glenn brown we're in the lead on lee we are fighting with florida for taylor we're in the lead on travis williams we're in the lead on and we haven't even put a lot of points into him but guys if you enjoyed this one you should check out some of the videos on the screen right now check out last season and see how we did if you guys are excited for this one definitely drop a like down below and don't forget to subscribe other than that i will see you in my next video